if I never picked up a hockey stick, I don't know where I'd be. I would probably be getting into some sort of trouble somewhere. Or, um, yeah, I, just, I can't even really think about it because hockey's, hockey's made who I am and it's brought me pretty much every friend that I, I've ever had. So just super blessed that I've got to come this far with, with the sport and I'm excited to see where it takes me from here. Being captain to me means a lot more than just the letter on the jersey or the, the fame that you get. It's kind of the, the aspect of being that guy that people will follow and people look at for advice or leadership. For me, I think it's just a lot about me trying to, I try to show the way for the whole team. Going into my final year, I would say it's, uh, the RT program is just amazing. It's a first class, top caliber, caliber team, especially in the Atlantic, but also in the nation. They, they give us a lot of support and all around the school, and it just feels like home. It's my second home, away from home, and I'm just super excited that I made the, made the choice to come here. After, right after that block shot, I knew something wasn't right. Tried to go back on the ice after uh, to catch my next shift, and I knew knew that it wasn't good. Got off the ice. Uh, our trainers helped me out. The doc took a look at me, and I didn't didn't end up getting an X-ray for like two days, but I knew something was off. But got the news that with the multiple fraction in my kneecap would will most likely put me out for the rest of the season. My fifth year of college, my last year, it was uh, it was a tough pill to swallow. But I think there's a lot more, a lot more that I can control than try to worry about what I can't. So, yeah. So I got my knee brace. That will take about six weeks. I could wear it. Yeah. So I got the knee brace. It's gonna take six weeks to wear it, and then I think we'll start doing some rehab just in the in the training room, trying to get the range of motion back and uh, probably a little mobility as well. Sore. Well, not really that sore, but just no mobility in it. Yeah, you have bent since? No. Yeah. Uh, so I'll take my afternoon nap like I usually do on game days. Take this off, hop in the shower, come back, throw my pants on, put the brace on, suit and tie, jacket. The hope is to rehab. Just a little adversity and minor setback for a major comeback, hopefully, and come play hockey. But I'm not really worried about that right now. Just kind of worried about uh, rehabbing and just being the best team I can for the boys right now as we start playoffs tonight. And uh, I know I got lots of faith in them, and they'll be playing for me as well. So can't wait to go watch them kick some ass. For the boys, I think that they they're going to use this as fuel and they're going to kind of play play for the logo still, but they're going to be thinking of me a little bit kind of uh, hoping hoping they'll kind of bring some assets of my game, kind of like the blocking shots and the hard work, which I know they will. I have ultimate faith in them, and I'll just cheer them on and be, do the best I can to be the best leader off the ice. The anticipation of this game right now is killing me. Drop the puck. Kind of the mindset I got to bring that I just got to get these guys ready to go and make them feel that that we're not, this is our year and we're not gonna be beaten. Just go in with a smile on my face every day, make sure everyone's feeling good, feeling loose, having a good time and just ready to go. That's all I can do from out, from on the stands and then go into the in-between period stuff, tell them what I see, but ultimately it's gonna be up to them to, to do this. I wish I could do it with them, but sometimes you can't control stuff. Things weren't looking too good, then they got the fourth one and then that's when I just had to had to get up, go down to the room, make sure, make sure I was there for everyone because that was a tough time for all of us. There was a lot of, a lot of tears, a lot of uh, just a lot of unfinished business that was left. It felt like, and but I was happy to be there for the guys. It was a tough time, but it's also a celebration too because five years has been really great to me here, and uh, it's on on to the next chapter now.